guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, my name's Molly. I release new nutrition and health videos every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. In this video, we're gonna be discussing all about the different kinds of eggs and which eggs are the best quality for you to buy. Cage-free, pasture-raised, conventional, no hormones, no antibiotics. What does that even mean? There's so much jargon around eggs and it can be really confusing to navigate when you're in the grocery store. So I'm gonna clear up a few myths about eggs as well as give you the real information behind how to choose the best eggs for you. You may have heard that cholesterol is a concern when you're consuming eggs, but eating the cholesterol from eggs does not increase your serum cholesterol or your blood cholesterol levels, but actually saturated fat is the type of fat to be careful of if you have increased risk for a cardiovascular disease. In addition to being a complete source of protein, eggs are also a great source of vitamin D, choline, iron, and omega-3. I also want to touch on the fact that the best buy date on the egg container is simply that, it's the best buy date. So if you have eggs at home that are past the date on the container, you can still eat them for about a month. Also, if you want to test the freshness of your eggs, you can do the float test by taking a bowl of water, placing your eggs in the water. If the eggs sink, they are fresher, and if they float, they are not as fresh. The egg shell is a little bit porous, and over time, oxygen penetrates the shell. If they float, they're still okay to eat, it just means they're a little bit older. So now I wanna go into some keywords that you may see marketed on the egg containers or in egg commercials. The first word I wanna to touch upon is farm fresh. So farm fresh means absolutely nothing. Technically all eggs are farm fresh because they come from a farm. So unless you're buying local eggs off a farm stand or from a local farmer, farm fresh is not something that you should really look for on your eggs. The second phrase that you might see on an egg container is no hormones. And this is a little bit misleading because hormones are actually not allowed in any poultry farming whatsoever. Hormones have not been allowed in poultry farming or egg manufacturing for the last 50 years. Another phrase you might see is no antibiotics. So a lot of times organic eggs have no antibiotics, but generally chickens are not given antibiotics unless they get sick. So let's talk about the difference between conventional eggs and organic eggs. Chickens raised on a conventional egg farm are held in a cage about the dimensions of a piece of paper. These chickens are not given access to the outdoors, any grass, and their feed is primarily non-organic grain. There are generally less antioxidants in conventional eggs, and this is reflected in the color of the yolk, which is a little bit lighter. These chickens may also be given antibiotics during the course of their life. This does not mean that these eggs are unhealthy whatsoever. It's just important for you to know the difference if you're curious about which eggs you should be buying. So organic chickens are fed organic feed. Organic farmers also must meet recommendations for the outside access given to their chickens. So this outside access does not have to be grass. It actually can be cement or dirt. So this does not mean pasture raised whatsoever. It's a little bit of a different story with cage-free eggs. Cage-free eggs are just that. They're chickens that were not held in a cage during their growth process. They usually have a larger area to roam, but this area does not have to be on green grass or in a pasture. So these cage-free plus Plus, it's noted here that the birds live indoors with perches and shelter. This brings me to the next category of eggs, which are free-range eggs. Free-range chickens are given more space than cage-free. They generally do have access to the outdoors, but again, this can vary depending on the farm. So I wanted to talk about pasture-raised eggs. So chickens that were raised on the pasture get access to the insects, the grass, the worms that are naturally found in the pasture. And this is reflected in the color of their yolks. So yolks of a pasture-raised egg will be a little bit darker, and that's because of the antioxidants that are found in the yolk. So essentially, chickens that are pasture-raised have the best life that they can. They have the most exercise and the most vitamin D. When you're buying pasture raised eggs, there's a couple options. Some of them are a little bit pricey, so Vital Farms is a brand that does pasture raised eggs and it can be pretty expensive, around like $7 for a dozen, but 
Trader Joe's has their own um, pasture raised brand. I prefer this one, it's about $4.50 I believe and that ends up to be less than 40 cents per egg. So it's still a relatively inexpensive protein source. One more piece of branding that you might notice on your eggs is omega-3. So if it has added omega-3, this is because they've added flax, or flax oil into the feed of the chicken. And you don't necessarily need to pay more for added omega-3. So eggs naturally have omega-3, and if you're struggling to get omega-3 in your diet, if you don't eat any fish, then maybe you might wanna buy omega-3 eggs, but you can also just incorporate other sources of omega-3 into your diet, like walnuts, flax seeds, maybe some flaxseed oil. Another common question that I get a lot is the color of the eggs. Are brown eggs healthier than white eggs? And the answer is that the color of the shell does not dictate the nutrition. Brown eggs actually come from brown hens and white eggs come from white hens and the bluish green eggs actually come from the black hens. So when black hens stand in the sun, you can see that their feathers are, have this blue-green iridescence and oftentimes those chickens will lay bluish green eggs or sometimes randomly other hens can lay a blue green egg. So in conclusion, the best eggs to buy if you really care about animal welfare is pasture raised eggs and pasture raised eggs also will have the highest amount of antioxidants. There will be no antibiotics used in their feed and usually they have an organic pasture diet. As always, it's important to do your own research and look into the source of the food that you're getting. So those are my tips on eggs and the difference between all of the different branding that you see in the grocery store. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions about anything we talked about as well as any questions for an upcoming question and answer video. New videos every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh god, I'm starting that part over. <laughs> I'll be releasing new videos every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as guided meditations, guided yoga flows coming soon. Be sure to like and subscribe so you stay updated, and we'll see you next time.